Former Maharashtra Minister and Shiv Sena leader Aditya Thakre spoke to our managing editor Zaka Jacob and Mumbai Bureau Chief Vinaya Deshpande at the town hall. Thakre labelled the rebel Sena MLAs as gaddars and challenged them to resign and face elections. Let's take a look at the exclusive conversation. When you talk BMC, you've seen people like Yashwan Jadhav, you've seen people like Yamini Jadhav. We saw the kind of public statements she made after she left. People who were considered to be extremely close to Matoshri behaving like that, do you think, A, that it is betrayal and B, that it is going to affect your fortunes in the BMC elections? I think people are seeing through it. You know, it's, it's a world that we live in that is open, transparent, 24-7. People know what is happening. Uh, people are also aware of what has happened and transpired behind the scenes. I mean, whatever reasons they give, the real reason is out there in the people. I mean, and I ask the people, you know, everyone's speaking about a couple of things that are very prominently out there. But I think the whole idea really is people know what has happened. People will stand by us, and that is what my feeling is whenever the elections happen. And that is why this arrangement of governance is not willing to take elections. I have been appealing to them, saying the 40 of you who don't you know, want to stay with us, and I don't know what other word than Gaddar can be used for that, um, you know, resign, face elections again. Whatever the people decide, we're okay to accept that. Because in the history of India, in the political history of India, such a jump without facing elections or without having the guts to face elections has never happened before. And I am saying, I will resign with you and I will face elections too with you. Come on, let's resign and face elections. Once, you know... This whole episode was done and we saw through what kind of people were there, uh, what kind of humans or what kind of sanskars have happened on them, the culture really. We went out to the people asking them, will you support us, will you stand by us? And the response across Maharashtra has been tremendous. There's been a lot of love for Udhavji, there has been a lot of blessings for me. Um, the legal battles, however, are not about Shiv Sena anymore. It's not about one party. You've got to realize what has happened in our country. Um, is about a whole different kind of law in our politics. It's a whole different story and narrative in our politics. This is not going to be about one party. If today people start taking groups of 5, 10, 15, 20 people, hopping over and start claiming parties, it's not just dangerous for us, it's going to be dangerous for the political parties that are national in nature. It's going to be dangerous for the BJP and the Congress equally. It's going to be dangerous for any other regional party. This is about how our democracy is going to shape itself over the next five or ten years. It's going to be about the other states that are in India. Uh, this is going to be about political stability in India and whether investors would want to invest in a story that is so politically unstable. I think this is the story and this is the narrative. It's about whether we would adhere to our constitution or not. And this, whatever judgment comes out, is going to be about our political story, it's going to be about our democracy, it's going to be about our constitution.